What is happening, everybody? Happy Monday. What up, ducks? What up, ducks? <laughs> uh, got a little bit of a video for you. Kind of gonna be kind of long, but we're hitting the garden. Mm -hmm. We're cleaning that mess up, getting ready for fall gardening. Um, probably gonna be a two-part, I'd say. Don't know that for sure. We'll see how long it takes us. It may be a two-parter or we may just i don't know we'll figure it out later mm -hmm. first thing we got to do is head in the kitchen we got something awesome showing don't we yep pretty awesome got a composter that y'all definitely need to check out so y'all go check that thing out in the kitchen with us and then come back outside hang out with us getting the garden done mm -hmm. and then we'll call it a day let y'all relax because y'all y'all gonna be hard at it anyway yeah Let's get going. Welcome to the kitchen guys. Got some awesome products to show y'all today. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna let Em explain it because she has used it already and I have not. So we'll take it away, Em. I've just played with it. Okay, so this is an electric food waste disposer or an electric composter, if you'd rather say it that away. It's got nice little buttons on the front. It actually has this pull out here. It catches uh, the condensation from the machine while it's running. And it's got warning labels all over it. Don't touch. Caution. It's hot when it's running. Don't touch it when it's running. That's obvious. It's sad we had to put warning labels on everything, but that's another discussion. Just thought I would throw that in there. Pretty much. And it's got these carbon filters in the back that catches all the stink coming out of this. Because, I mean, obviously you're going to put food scraps in here. They're going to stink. So, And you don't want your whole house smelling up this catches them and it catches them pretty well because as he said i ran i ran one cycle through it just to see how it works and everything and i didn't smell anything and that was like rotten tomatoes and stuff like that so yeah it has little it's super simple to use guys because it has these little arrows it's locked right now just twist it to unlock it she hit, she hit y'all by the way I'm sorry. It wasn't I didn't me. You. And it's got this little bucket in here. Also has an arrow on it. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. Yeah, I can see it. But it points towards the front of the machine. Yeah, there's a little arrow right there. You can barely see that little arrow, but it points right there. But what, what does that mean? Is it locked in there then? Yeah, it's locked in there then. But honestly, if you pay attention to the bucket, there's only one way it can go in there anyway because it's got these little Bolts. bolts right here and there's a little section that's not the same right there <laughs> so yeah those just go kind of goes hand in hand kind of goes hand in hand you can't mess it up guys you could but anyway let's get this thing going i i haven't she hasn't let me run it let's fix say she you can't mess it up let me touch it <laughs> you could you very well could. So what's funny about this is that um, I was actually looking at electric composters online not too long ago because I thought they were really cool. And then the same people that sent us the EBL got a hold of us again for this and wanted to see if we wanted to do a video on this. And we were like, yeah, that sounds cool. And it is cool, guys. It really is. We'll show you what it looks like after it's done. I'm gonna cut off the cut up this really soft carrot that I picked the other day. I just wanted to see how they were coming along. And they were soft. This one turned soft in the house, of course. I could probably put it back in the refrigerator and it might have maybe hardened back up, but I'm gonna cut this in small chunks since this one is a little bit more um 
crunchy. It's soft, but it, it's a carrot. It's crunchy. And I got other little scraps where I was working on some tomatoes over here the other day. I'm going to also put in there. The thing about this time of year is we really don't have a crap ton of stuff that we can put in there. Because our garden is mostly done. So I'm going to cut these leaves up also and put them in there. Just throwing a little bit of everything in there. Yep, throwing a little bit of everything in there. It's compost or why not, right? Sure. Now this book that it comes with, which I still will have to use for turning it on because like I said, I only done one cycle through it. So I'm still learning. I'm gonna use it. It does tell you what you can and cannot put in there. So read your manual if you buy one of these. Definitely read your manual. You're supposed to read your manual anyway. But I got a little bit of egg scraps I'm gonna throw in there. Eggshells. Eggshells, whatever. Makes a difference. And some onion. I'm gonna just tear this up a little bit. Load it. Load it. Pepper. tomato scraps like I said I got a bunch of nasty tomatoes in here I don't know if I'll be able to put them all in there looks like it's getting pretty full yeah you want to make sure your pieces aren't very large also you don't want to stop your machine up I mean or maybe you do I don't <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there because she's getting kind of full. Do I need to, do I need to plug, plug it in? in. Plug it in. <laughs> Seriously, do I need to? Yeah, plug it in. Trying to do this and looking through the camera to do it. It came on. It's gonna tell you. It's gonna tell on you that the lid's not on quite yet. Error one. Yep, error one. The lid's not on. Lock her up. See? And she just comes right on. Actually, I think that's the one I had it on last time, but I am going to show you how to still do this because, yeah, you change it by... Hold on. Let me get around there to you so it makes this a little easier. So you have volume levels over here. You have... A low volume, medium volume, and large volume. That's dependent on, of course, how much you have in your bucket there. You have your quick and your standard and your ferment. Your quick cycle, from what I understand, you use it if you have stuff that's really going to stink like fish or meats and stuff like that. Yes, you can put that in this thing. That's the only thing that I found that's different from this thing to an actual just composter that you would grow, that you would use like outside and stuff like that. But, um, so yeah, and I don't really re remember what the ferment's for. I'll be honest with you. It's in the book. I've read it. Like I said, I've only used it one time. But to change the volume, you just short press this and change it. Low, medium, large. And then to change over here, you just kind of short press again. I'm going to go standard and I'm going to go medium this time because I don't have it completely full. And... Sorry, I gotta read for a minute because like I said, I've only run this one time so I'm trying to make sure I did everything right here. Okay, short press this. Oh. It wants to give me crap today. Short press the mode button. Didn't get that on camera. 
sorry guys so to start it you're just gonna want to press and hold it for a quick I'm sorry like I said I'm still trying to get used to this thing I've only used it one time um, just short press and hold it and it will start its cycle this tells you how long you have so it's gonna take four hours and 30 minutes for this cycle to get complete he showed you the inside it's got little um, I don't really want to call them blades because it's not like a cutting blade but it's like little it pretty much just stirs it around and the little um, metal thing down there kind of cuts it up so yeah so basically in four hour four and a half hours we'll come back and show you the finished product okay oh guys obviously too because this thing gets hot you want to keep it away from like your cabinets you want to have space all around it so it can't set nothing on fire there you go so we'll see y'all in four and a half hours mm -hmm. and it's it's done it gives you three beeps to let you know that it is done they're kind of long beeps it gives you three long beeps i guess and then to turn it off all you have to do is hit the volume button it says volume but there's a little power button over here just hit it and hold and then you're supposed to and of course it's not going to do right because it's not wanting to do right for this video at all and then you just unplug it i'm just gonna go ahead and plug it oops and it does hold electricity for a little while afterwards that's the reason why the el1 was there you can let this sit and cool first or if you're in a hurry to use it you can get it out using a Yeah, whatever this thing's called. I can't remember. Can y'all see down in there? It makes really, really pretty compost. Oh. And when you use this, you're going to want to mix it one part this to ten parts of dirt or soil or whatever you're going to use. We're not going to do that because we're just going to add it to our compost for that we made outside. But Yeah, we're just going to take it and put it outside with the rest of it. And then what to clean it, you just run it under sink water and... It's as easy as that, really. Yep. That's it, guys. That's the... What is it called again? It's an electric composter. It's really awesome, guys. Y'all should check this out if you need one, that is. Yep. Oh, and all the liquid, of course, that from the steam and stuff goes right down here into this drawer. It catches it off for you. There you go. You just, of course, send that in the sink. All right, so... Link in the description, guys. Let's get to the garden. Right? Mm hmm This thing's awesome. Check it out. Yep. Down here at the garden now we've already got started as you've seen in the video but what we're going to be doing is basically from basically the tomatoes to the corn we're going to wipe it out pretty much it except for of course like the sweet potatoes and stuff too well except for the sweet potatoes and stuff but we're, we're cleaning it up what i'll do is take the weed eater in here and get everything i can with the weed eater and you know miss chopping down okra yep and then I'll take the mower in here after it dries up a little bit, 
chew all this crap up then we'll take the tiller clean it up and yeah so forth so anyway y'all have fun and watching that's you hot i am a little hot i'm all right though so let's get to work guys <laughs>
All right, so we're done weed eating and stuff, pulling weeds and stuff for today. We've got the area we're gonna plant cleared out. We'll show y'all in a little bit, but Em, what are you doing now? I'm picking maters and then I'm gonna go through and look for my peppers and they'll probably get pulled up after that. I already got a five gallon bucket full. And just about. Just on what, first roll by half, uh, about three quarters of the way? Yeah. These are our heirlooms and they're doing fantastic. So we got a lot of rain. We couldn't keep up with the weeds. But the garden was pretty much gone, done for anyway. We've just been slacking on getting down here to it. So we're gonna finish. I'm gonna help her pick these, and then we're uh, we got a truckload of stuff to haul off to the burn pile. We're gonna wrap this day up. We're both tired, and uh, got a bunch of other stuff to do in the house. So let's uh, I'm gonna go help her. So. We're done for with what we're gonna do today, mm -hmm. as far as the garden. But we'll we'll kind of show you real quick. Em took care of the okra, didn't you? Yeah, that was the job. Then we weed eated all that. That right there is where the pumpkins are, and then we have the fairy tale pumpkins here. Yeah, right there somewhere. Weed eat around some of the sweet potatoes and down through in between the sweet potatoes and the tomatoes and then also we we I weed eated on the outside of she picked a watermelon one of the watermelons didn't get to me off this but we do have more watermelons down there that'll be ready soon yeah. also she went ahead and we we picked uh tomatoes and she picked her peppers yeah we only got a few but this is tomato haul we only got a few and then there's a little bit of cayenne pepper down there at the bottom. The rest of us bales, right? Yep. We just got a few. Yeah, we just got a few. So that's gonna wrap this part up. Yeah. We've already unloaded the truck. We did that off camera. Yeah. Just cause, yeah. We got hot. We, we got, got hot break. and took took lunch and. We got some other stuff to do off camera but yeah y'all yeah, know y'all understand we're done in the garden today hope y'all enjoy this monday video yeah one or two more garden videos and then it'll be sporadic from then on out we'll do, be doing something else yeah. uh, but uh i the, hope y'all enjoy that electric composter it's nice it's quiet it really is good especially if you're like a person by yourself wanting yeah. to yeah yeah we'll have a link in the description box description box for that Anyway, guys, we appreciate y'all coming out, hanging out with us in the garden. Hopefully, next week y'all can see us putting in the fall garden. That's the plan. Anyway, yep. so. Uh, yep. Anyway, guys. As always, we love you. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time. Stay living country. God bless. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.